Super Print Effects, a Fuse plugin which creates classic halftone, duotone, and more print style effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's see how to use it. After installing the plugin, we can open the Fusion page and import any footage. Then we can search our new plugin through the node menu of Fusion. This is our plugin Super Print FX. We get this new node that we can connect with the media node. Once connected, the effect is visible on the screen. On the right-sided inspector window, we have various controls of this plugin. There are multiple modes in SuperPrint FX. Currently, it is showing the halftone standard mode. There is a scale slider, which changes the dot size of this halftone. There is gamma and smooth as control for changing the overall brightness and blur. The RGB switch enables the RGB color space in this halftone. This makes the halftone much cleaner and vibrant, but it depends on your use case whether you need it or not. The alpha slider is also there for transparency. The next mode we have is the halftone CMYK, which is an animated effect. It simulates continuous tone images using dots of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black inks. You can see the dots rotate at particular angles randomly. We can adjust the speed of the rotation. There is a blur slider which simply smooths out the dots. The brightness, alpha, and scale can be adjusted like the previous mode. Similar to this mode, we have another mode called Halftone RGB, which simulates halftone effects visually using red, green, and blue pixels. This one looks very clean and generally preferred for digital halftone effects, but it all depends on your taste. The controls are the same as those in the CMYK halftone mode. The next mode is also very special. The duotone mode replicates the vintage duo shade printing technique, blending undeveloped and developed tones with diagonal hatching for a printed aesthetic. We have the scale slider for increasing the space between hatched lines. We have multiple sliders to adjust the light and dark areas of the scene. We can also control the shade limit, hashing lines, and noise. The color of the ink and paper can be changed under the color management section. Here's another demo with the first clip. Next, we have simple halftone dots that simulates tonal variation using evenly spaced circular dots of varying size. This looks good for simple designs. Like here, we have a simple image of waves, and the halftone dots look something like this. Very clean and normal. But do you know we can add some motion in this still image using a plugin called Super Delusion? You can find this plugin in my store which replicates various dreamy-like motion visuals. See how the halftone dots are interacting with the background. There is also one mode which replicates the money print effect. The guillosh generates intricate interwoven wave patterns using layered diagonal oscillations, creating a high frequency texture reminiscent of traditional engraving, often used in banknotes. There are options to change the engraved patterns. The level slider controls the number of superimposed wave patterns. Make sure you also change the brightness after changing it. The ink color can also be changed if required. Since this is also a printing style effect, I felt it made sense to include it in the plugin. The newspaper dither applies an ordered dither effect that mimics the look of old printed newspapers. It converts the input texture into a bold, high contrast black and white halftone style. The noise level adjusts the dither pattern variation, gamma controls the overall brightness, and the grayscale option converts the image to black and white for a classic look. That's all the modes in this version. Now let's create a vaporwave style digital art using this plugin. We have this footage of a bust, Let's add a merge node, then a color corrector node. Connect the color correct with the green channel. Increase the red tone and change the merge apply mode to saturation. Now we got the vaporwave colors. Let's add a camera shake for random motion in the scene. Next, add the time machine node. It's a special fuse available in reactor. Set the mode to skip and increase the skip frame slider for some creative time jumps. Now bring in the Super Print FX node and pick the halftone style that looks best.
Personally, I think the RGB halftone looks awesome. Let's spice it up with another cool node, Super Pixel Sort. Switch its mode to Rank and explore different visual styles by adjusting the threshold. Looks pretty cool, right? That's it. Play around in Fusion and see what kind of wild results you can create. Download Superprint FX, links in the description. Thanks for supporting my work and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.